Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Beyond Politics. You're here with Jenny McDaniel, myself, and my good friend, comedian Bo Mikadelic. How you doing, Bo? I'm good. Thank you, Jen. Preach. <laughs> no problem. And today we're going to get into the juicy topic of the debate last night and go into any other topics that segue into that. So you want to start us off? What would you think? I think Elizabeth Warren killed it. I think, I think right. she did well. I, I was actually impressed because I I haven't seen her like that in a long time. Like I said, even before getting into this debate, you, you heard me say that I liked Warren when she was back on that debt, you know, debit, or not debit, but debt, something in debt, in debt do us all. I think that was the <laughs> documentary, but I, I, I liked her because she was aggressive back then. Last night, man, she she took the gloves off and she scratched the hell out of Michael Bloomberg. She did. I loved that. I was I was like jaw my jaw was dropped. I was like, Yeah, give it to him. She did. She scratched his eyes out metaphorically. And it 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 was obvious that she was like getting him good too because she was talking about Okay, uh, some women, she said, I don't know, like verbatim, but she mm-hmm. said, okay, some women you'll accept, but not all women. And then he said something like, well, it was, you know, I, 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 they only had a problem with my jokes. <laughs> ridiculous. Like what did it. he call somebody, what did he call somebody a broad and a horse-faced lesbian? And she's like, we're not talking broad. about Trump. That broad even. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, she ripped that him up heavy. pretty good. Mm-hmm. That was heavy. What did you think about Bloomberg? I mean, it, it looked like he was not ready at all. I mm-hmm. mean, mm-hmm. you know, he was obviously at a point. He was stuttering his words. He couldn't get his point across. It wasn't effective. It wasn't dynamic. It wasn't aggressive. It, he looked like a deer in the headlight for mm-hmm. most of the night. And they just kept on jabbing him like, how the fuck are you going to come into our shit after we have to go and we have to earn and build up X amount of people and donations mm-hmm. coming in, we got we got go against each other on a regular basis, throwing fucking mud at each other in the best way that we can possibly influence and inspire our people that are following us. And you're just going to come in here with this multi-billion billion dollar fucking back fucking uh, 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 ability. Yeah, you know, I was interested in watching him debate. Now, I had heard on the news that um, people were kind of, you know, giving him a little shit, saying, oh, he, he's not much of a debater. You know, he's not, he's not big on that. So it'll be interesting to see how he does in the debate. So I was interested in seeing um, what he had. And it wasn't much, except money. And he, I read the number was something. I'm, I'm, I might be confusing it with a number, and I'm, uh, another number, but I think it was 300 million or 600 million that he has put in to get all those commercials to get himself in the debate. He spent three to 600 million, whatever number it is, to get up there and make an ass of himself. And I love it when billionaires do that. I love it when their egos are so big that they think they're the shit and they've got all the answers and they've got that money. Money talks, right? Bullshit walks. And so they're just flying on that. They've lived their lives on it. And so he comes to the stage and they did gang up on him. I was wondering how they were going to take and fancy to a man buying his way in. Like you said, they've been in years, uh, maybe not so much Pete, but all the other ones, decades of time spent in politics and, and learning the game and getting respected and, and, you know, moving up the ranks. And I was wondering if they were all going to gang up on him or if just um, Bernie and Pete were going to go at it hardcore. So I was pretty impressed. I thought it was a good debate. It was very entertaining. Like we said before the show, it was kind of like a reality show. So it was wildly entertaining. Um, I've never been so entertained during a debate, but I do feel like um, they ganged up on him and I liked it. And I like, again, watching, an ego, uh, a billionaire's ego implode. I like watching him squirm, and that was that's the, that's my you know ego <laughs> liking that. But yeah, he he made an ass of himself. Uh, yeah, it makes you wonder, like, because he would have been way better off not even participating in any of right. the debates. 
and just like putting himself out there. So the idea that, you know, I can do this. I can, you know, none of them are making any sense. I can beat Trump. Mm -hmm. Give me the stage and, and, you know, they took it to him. They did. The sad part is that I'm still not like blown away by anybody. Mm -hmm. Even Bernie, as much as I, I like Bernie, he just seems so fucking frail. What is he, almost 80? Is he 78? I think he's 78. Probably. Yeah, I wouldn't, you know, and I would, you know, say that's generous. Mm -hmm. So, but but I'm not saying that I don't like his, what he stands for in his overall perspective. I'm saying that, man, it would be great if we can take booty gig, like booty gig's verbatim, like the way he can spit out words. Mm-hmm. And take, you know, Bernie's overall persona of like what he stands for, mm-hmm. like mesh them two together, throw in some like snarky responses from the females, <laughs> and and have some type of like um, influence that the vice presidency has. So, you know, mix them all together and give them the money that Bloomberg had. Oh, man, that would be an incredible candidate. <laughs> but we if can't we could, do that. If we could build a bear, I mean, build a candidate. If we could Put them all together. Like, yeah. mesh them all together. It would be wonderful, but that's not going to happen. So, ultimately, happen. <laughs> Bernie is the most impressive. Mm-hmm. And of all the people on the debate stage last night, and this is just hypothetically speaking, and it's subject to change your your opinion. Who do you think up there would uh, run well with Bernie? Who do you think, if he picked somebody up there, who he should pick if he gets I mean, the nomination? Obviously, after last night, Elizabeth Warren, mm-hmm. I mean, she came out slicing. She did. And it was very impressive. If you think about Elizabeth Warren going up against Pence, she's going to kill this dude. This, I mean, he's mm-hmm. never been really impressive. Mm-mm. So, and and she's progressive, but at the same and she believes in universal health care. Yes, yeah, she so does. Mm-hmm. The, I would love to see Yang as a vice president candidate, but the reason for that is because of the you know universal basic income. And yeah. if Bernie's not willing to take that on, he feels like it's more important that everybody has the health care and jobs created by this change of total energy, whatever the fuck, then then it becomes a situation where he's not going to be so universal basic income. But what Yang is saying is like, hey, look, these jobs are not going to matter ultimately because it's going to be fucking computers and machines doing all this shit. Mm-hmm. Let's just give these people money because they're going to revolt. If, if do, you don't, do you think Bernie would take that on? Do you think Bernie's? I haven't read anything on it, so I'm just we're just hypothetically speaking here. But do you do you think Bernie likes the um, income thing that Yang Yang was talking about? I think he would be. Bernie seems to be the most like reasonable person. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, the reason I'm saying this is because we have a mass of people who are fucking struggling, and if we don't fucking take control of this shit, or, or at least accommodate the masses this shit is going to rebel back on us like as, as being one of the like you know white ho- or, or political senate political people in the higher ups the the in-betweens between the corporations and the banks the political people so bernie's in that st- spot like hey we got to get these people something these are hundreds of millions of people that are going to start they're already struggling. Mm-hmm. We've got to give them something. So I would, I do think that he would be more prone to side with the universal uh, basic income as opposed to uh, not doing it. Because he, well, then again, Warren would bring that female vote. So yeah, I can see why Warren, I can see why she did what she did last night as far as like attacking everybody else and not him because it made sense. Like, Oh, she, I mean, she said a couple of things just to jab. She just jabbed it, but she didn't hook him. 
She didn't do no body blows. She didn't roundhouse. Mm -hmm. She didn't straight. She just jabbed a couple times at him. Yep, which is uh, more than what happened a couple debates ago. I think it was in Iowa. Um, It was two debates ago. Um, She wouldn't shake his hand. So they had that little scuffle, and we had a podcast about that one, too, where we talked about that on – Mm-hmm. And then, and then now she's uh, she's changing her tune a little because she sees she's dwindling in numbers, and if she wants to get any piece of that pie, it's going to have to probably be vice president. So maybe she is changing her tune a bit. And I think she saw, and you said it beautifully a couple podcasts podcasts ago. You said um, it blew up in her face, like that whole whatever she had her. She was on a ride. She was going toward the top, and then everything just petty. blew up in her face. Mm-hmm. It was petty. It was very petty. petty. No one wants a petty president. We already have one of those. Which may, And if I'm looking at the candidates from last night, and this is strange for me because I don't fuck with politics. I really don't. So <laughs> me neither. <laughs> just, this year being the year, okay, I'm going to see what this shit is really about. And I'm actually now interested in it, but it feels like a show. It does it feel is. like a reality mm-hmm. show. It doesn't feel like these are the real people who are making decisions that are really changing things. But at the same time, I also feel like the people who are really making decisions to change things are realizing that they can't be, keep making the poor decisions. Right. Like, like because our, our humanity course is going off to an extinction route. Yeah. <laughs> so these people who are really in the position to make decisions are like, wait, wait, this, you know, this shit doesn't make sense. All right, let's start figuring some shit out, and we can actually turn – and I think our our consciousness is rising to a point where people are really making positive decisions, even in I those positions. It. And it's changing. I mean, you can see, um, and my boyfriend said this and he pointed it out. It was like at the first debate of the year. This isn't like, about your boyfriend and shit. <laughs> he was like, we should get him on the show. He's really politically knowledgeable, but you and I are way conspiracy. He would just be like, what? And have to tell us what the reality of it is or what the, what the, um, what the news is saying. So he's pretty conspiracy theorist too, but you and I are way more conspiracy theorists. Anyway, we'll get him on one of the shows. But he was like, Bernie's up on that stage in many different people. He goes, Bernie's ideas are everywhere. Warren was taking his ideas. There was a couple others that maybe have dropped already that were taking some of his ideas. So Bernie has spread his knowledge. So even though he's almost 80 years old, he's probably going to die in the next decade or two, um, depending um, how much stress he takes on. But um, I feel like his job has been done, even if he doesn't get presidency, even if he, um, you know, dies in a year from now, I feel like he brought this universal health care to the table and a lot of other politicians are picking it up and playing with it. Um, Certainly not like Biden and Buttigieg, the more conservative or centrist or whatever they call them, but um, like Elizabeth Warren has picked it up. And I'm trying to remember, because a lot of people have dropped, I think we started with what, 12 people that were running for the nomination and now we're down to about six or something, but I'm, I'm drawing a blank on which couple other people brought his information to the table. But I was like, you know what? That's true. Bernie's everywhere on that stage. Um, and again, not so much now let's talk about Amy Klobuchar. 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 What's her name? And they, I, I, and, well, uh, <clears throat> Klobuchar. Klobuchar. Klobuchar yes, it is. Mm-hmm. And it kind of like, uh, it, well, it kind of leads into talking about her because Looking at that, the whole concept of it, I'm like, how is it that these other countries, all the other countries, all the other first world countries Mm -hmm. have universal health care except ours, Mm -hmm. but yet um, uh, Booty Gig Mm -hmm. and Klobuchar are sitting there saying, well, I don't know if Klobuchar said it, but uh, Pete was like, man, this is going to cost us $25 trillion. Where is this $25 trillion? I'm like, are these other countries paying twenty five trillion, like over, just to provide health care for their 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 citizens? Well, they're smaller. You know, they're like some of the countries are the size of a couple of our states put together. So, the number probably isn't that big. But also, they don't have all the revenue. Do you? I wonder. I, I'm going to Google it one day. Wise. How much? Even if it's how much percentage. taxes do we pay? It should cover some health care for people. <clears throat> and you know what? We are a socialist. Um, democracy already. We have public schools that are funded by taxes. We have um, road services and, and bridge services and you know, lots of things are, are um, cops, police, firemen. We are very socialist. And if we just add healthcare 
to that list too. It's not going to change so much. And this is the thing. We're already paying for 